This week, I'm gonna show you how to use any leftover rice, you know, from last week's episode, by making fried rice. It's really easy, it comes together in minutes, and you can use whatever you have in your fridge. Let's get started. I love fried rice because you can use whatever you have in your fridge to make a really great dish. Here's what you need. Rice, obviously. It's best to use day-old rice so that there's no moisture in it and you can get a really crispy fried rice. I like to put it out on a sheet tray like this to help it dry out even more. If you use fresh rice, it's gonna have way too much moisture and you're gonna get like clumpy, mushy fried rice. Not the thing. I'm also going to use celery, carrots, Swiss chard, basil, ginger, garlic, shallots, two eggs, peanut oil, soy sauce, and rice vinegar. If you had toasted sesame oil, this would be a great time to use it. You can also add in whatever vegetables you have in your fridge, add any proteins in like chicken, tofu, shrimp. Really get creative, use what's in your fridge. Let's start with peeling ginger. Here's a really easy trick. All you need is a little spoon, and use the back of it to just peel it right off. Some people don't even peel ginger because the peel's actually edible, but if you want to, this is a really good way to have low waste. You know, if you're using a knife, you're wasting a lot of good ginger. Okay, this is ready for mincing. If you don't have ginger, that's obviously okay. It's just another way to get that really classic fried rice flavor. This is minced. I'm gonna move on to the garlic. Depending on your garlic preference, add as many cloves as you want. I think I'll do three. I like things garlicky. Use the back of your knife, smash it down. I wonder how many people actually started using that trick after watching this video. I'm just gonna mince this up. You know, fried rice is mostly prep. The actual cooking time is pretty fast. So ginger and garlic are done. I'm just gonna slice the shallot. All set, I swear there's only a little more chopping to do. So I'm actually gonna save the celery leaves from the celery because they're delicious and add more flavor. And then I'm just gonna slice up the carrot, celery, and the Swiss chard stems. I'm gonna save the Swiss chard greens for at the end. You guys, this looks like the rainbow, it's beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna thinly slice the chard and then I swear we're good to go. You could use kale, you could use arugula, like whatever greens you have on hand. It's really important when you're making fried rice to think about timing. So first you're gonna cook the ingredients that take a bit longer, like onions, celery, carrots, and save the lighter things for later on, like basil, Swiss chard, those cook much faster. It's all about timing. So fried rice is traditionally made on a wok, I don't have one, I'm using a pot, you can use a pan, whatever you have on hand is definitely gonna work. So, set it over high heat, and then I'm gonna add some peanut oil. If you have olive oil, vegetable oil, whatever you have at home, you can use that. So while the oil's heating up, I'm just gonna beat two eggs. If you don't have eggs, leave them out. If you're vegan, leave them out. So just give them a quick whisk. If I was making scrambled eggs for a Sunday morning, I would do it low and slow, but for fried rice, we're going high heat and fast. Add the eggs in. So just push it back to give a really quick scramble. And as soon as the egg is cooked, remove it from the heat. So I'm gonna set the egg aside for later and add the rest of the veggies. So add a little more oil, got more peanut oil. And again, once that gets hot, add the veggies. And give them a stir to make sure they're coated with oil. There's some egg residue in there, that's okay. I'm just gonna cook these until they're a bit softened. If you wanna add a little salt, just to add some extra flavor, go ahead. It's gonna get a lot of salt from the soy sauce later on, so go sparingly this time. Okay, my veggies are ready. I'm gonna add the garlic and ginger for 30 seconds just until they're aromatic. I don't want them to burn. And then the rice. It smells truly insane. Once your garlic and ginger are really aromatic, that's your cue to add the rice. Just about 30 seconds. Okay, time to add that rice. 
So you can just scrape it right off the sheet pan, if you did that, and just add it right in. And after everything's combined, just let it sit for a minute. You don't need to constantly stir. We want it to get that crispy bottom. If you keep stirring, it's not gonna have a chance to really crisp up, you know. It's fried rice, it should be fried. Yeah. Ooh, looks like my fried rice is getting pretty crispy. So I'm gonna add the Swiss chard, the basil, and the celery leaves. I know it looks like a lot of greens, common theme around my YouTube, but they're gonna cook down. Once the greens are wilted down, Add that egg right back in. And just break it up with your spatula. Mix in until it's totally combined. I'm just gonna add some soy sauce and some rice vinegar. It's the seasoning. And if you add that toasted sesame oil, this would be the time to use it. Sesame oil is a finishing oil, not a cooking oil. So you wanna use it at the end. And I think we're good to serve this up. Nailed it. Fried rice. Any rice. It's my favorite food.